Hi everyone, I wanted to share my reaction to my very first listening of a piece, Suite No. 3 in D minor by Georg Böhm, a lesser known Baroque composer. I'm not providing any technical analysis, it's just some insights I had while I was listening, and maybe some expressions of unbridled joy. The harpsichordist in this recording is Sebastian Bottone, and I've linked his original video in the description, which I highly encourage you to watch and listen to. Hope you enjoy this reaction. Okay, let's go. Oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> there's just, uh... Oh, I love the... F there's a nice... Let me get my words together. I loved how there were two halves to this Allemand. And... Herr Böhm, the composer, really fooled me there. Um, thinking that the Allemand was over when really it was only halfway through. And I think partly why the fooling was so convincing is because in that first half, there's so much nebulous motion going on. There's so many crunchy notes, so much tension that's building. And finally it comes to resolution and you hear that accented, low octave bass note and you think ah oh, yes but then it continues then it continues and it's it's less tense in the second half but there's less tense harmonically but there's still a lot of emotional tension in the way well at least in the way that Sebastian played the trills just each different trill had its own character to it and I felt so much yearning in that and then when it finally ends you're recalling how you were fooled that it ended the first time and and somehow the second resolution feels 
all the more sweeter because then you know this time he's not fooling us. This time it really is the end of the movement. Mm. Okay, let's go to the next movement, the courant. A nice short movement there, no false endings in that one. I liked how at the beginning there were some nice... Um, the piece went really high up in the range and you hear some bell-like tolling. And then in this Quran there's very distinct two voices happening at the same time and, and they're really... it's. They're not in total harmony with one another. There's a lot of clashing between the two voices, the, the low and the high. And I can tell it's really difficult to play, but Sebastian, he's, he's saying this is one voice and this is the other voice. And somehow they're incompatible, but they're compatible. They're still in harmony, but they're still trying to vie for your attention. I, okay, but the other thing, I'm maybe I'm just going crazy, but does the Quran start the same way the Alaman starts? I need to ch I need to check back on that. So this is the beginning of the Quran. Okay, so that's the beginning of the Quran. I think I'm going crazy, but Yes, I was right! I was right! I wasn't crazy! Okay, it, they start so similarly, but then they diverge in such different directions. That's fascinating. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I need to ask Sebastian about this and how the, the two movements begin the same way, although slightly differently. And, um, you know, I... I See, this is the thing again. It, is Bohm playing with us again? Because we know there are four movements. The last movement, the the gig, is very short compared to the saraband. Sarabands, I find, are usually the most deeply emotional movements. Um, I wonder... Okay, this is my hypothesis. I don't know anything about this piece. My hypothesis is the Saraband is its own entity entirely. And then the Zhig harkens back to the opening and the Courant and starts with the opening figure for the last time. That's, that's one hypothesis. My other hypothesis... Oh, no, no. That is my hypothesis because... I wonder if this piece continues with this theme of of playing with expectation. And so the of course the Saraband will have a, a different musical opening, a different musical figure to begin as a way of saying I began two movements the same. 
Now I'm going to do something different. Now I'm going to um, manage your expectation. Okay. This is so much fun. I'm enjoying this piece so much. Let's go to the Saraban now. my goodness was I right or was I right that was so deeply moving and it I was just caught up in the moment of it so much that it, it passed so quickly that that minute and a half or so three and a half minutes to it was two minutes long and it it just flashed before my eyes like that I was so caught up in the moment I, I don't know what to say. It, there was one one instant that stood out to me. There was just this one blue note that I, th I think it was a tritone down. And it pulled on my heartstrings so effectively, but it also it was so effective in providing the subsequent resolution that came right after it. And then I think there was a bit of a coda that happened to finish out the movement, but oh, that moment was sublime. Let's let's do an instant replay. I think it happens about right here. This time I'm not going to mute my mic, and so you can hear hear my instant reaction to it. Um, okay. scale again. Same motion. Well, maybe I missed it. You know, sometimes, sometimes when you listen to music, you notice things the first time, and then the second time, it's not even apparent. And, and then you listen to it 500 more times, and then you hear it again the same way that you first heard it, and then, then you really cry. Then you really cry. Um, I think I, I miss... <laughs> Oh, I'm having so much fun. I, <laughs> let's, 
<laughs> Let's just go to the the Zhig. But also, okay, so I was right that the opening didn't start with the same figure, but there was a reoccurrence of the same opening figure elsewhere in the movement. Mmm, I see what you're doing there, boom. Brilliant. This is just genius level stuff. Okay, last last quick movement. Here we go. <laughs> It's so good! It's so good! <laughs> so, a strong opening, lots of harmony, lots of chords, lots of um, homophony going on when there's there's been so much polyphony in this piece, particularly in the second movement, the Courant. And now, boom, it just says, we're triumphant now. We've, we've overcome the despair from the Sarabande. Let's go to war! <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs>